Hello everybody and welcome to the most unscripted, unprofessional, un-anything, uh, development tips video that has ever existed ever on Roblox. Like, I'm serious. This is, this is, I, I'm not, this isn't scripted, this isn't, I, I don't even have like a big plan, I'm just gonna be going over things that I do to earn Robux on the platform. So, in the past year I have made 18,000 Robux off of my games alone. Um, on Roblox, which, you know, that's a good amount. Uh, I definitely am not in the top tier of developers, but I'm gonna be going over my tips to make a lot of Robux. I don't do these because I don't make games to earn Robux. I make games to have fun. I do not... I really make games for myself. I don't really make games for other people. Um, there aren't really a lot of exceptions to that rule. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over a couple tips that make it uh, a lot easier to get Robux when developing games. So you have three options when you're trying to get Robux from developing games. Uh, so I'm gonna go over the first one, which is making a simulator. Um, there are countless guides on YouTube, and it's probably the safest thing you can do. Uh, as a developer, if you're new or if you're seasoned, uh, making a simulator is the safest way to get Robux. You need to have a budget of about, like, a thousand or two thousand robux to advertise your simulator and then uh, make sure you have a decent amount of game passes stuff like double coins and two times speed actually do not do not dare sell a sprint game pass I'm okay with two times coin game passes but if you sell a sprint game pass I will immediately leave your game and dislike it um yeah just sell s simple game passes like two times speed and plus three pet slots um, or if you're going for progressive pet systems, just do something like, oh, 15% off pet purchase prices. Um, now, if your simulator is very simple, uh, it won't keep players in a lot. Coin Farming Simulator uh, is a simulator game that I made. It did not keep people in. It did not keep, keep people having fun with the game. Um, it just was not... It was, it was straight up just a test to see if mobile players played more simulators. Um, so if you make a game like that, people aren't going to play it. You need to have pet eggs. That is the best way to get Robux, is to have pet eggs and then sell special pet eggs for Robux. That is basically the best way to get Robux without uh, putting in a ton of effort. Now keep in mind that if you make a simulator game to get Robux, it's not going to stay popular for very long. It'll probably stay popular for about... Two weeks or three weeks, and then it'll dip off the front page. There are exceptions to this rule, um, but that's pretty general. So if you want to do this, this is going to be a much more active method. You have to work really hard on making... Uh, you have to work really, really hard on making uh, a simulator like every three weeks, which is not something that is great to do. Um, but moving on to the second way to make Robux off of games, and the one I personally do, and none of my games have reached the point where they'll make me a lot of Robux yet. But, uh, the second option that you have is to make whatever you want, and just to make it as polished and high quality as possible, and if it's good, people will see that it is good, and it will stay uh, popular, as long as you do a good job advertising your game, is which can become popular, you do have to spend Robux to advertise. Um, as long as you keep updating your game, it will stay popular. If it's a, if it's an original idea with, uh, good coding and good building and all that stuff. Um, Survivalist is almost at this point, in my opinion. Uh, I've been working on it tirelessly for, like, the fast, not fast, for, like, the past five months. We've almost been working on the game in total for like a year, and it's almost at that point where it's going to be a game that I think people will really say, oh, yeah, this is high quality, too. Um, so that's, that's the second option. I'd really only recommend doing this one if you really aren't super into getting Robux right away. Do this one if you want, like, a long-term investment. Um, and then your third option is to make something simple and addictive that isn't a simulator. Stuff like a PvP game, like Aerospec Brick Battle, which is one of my games, I haven't... It's not really in full release yet, I still have a ton of touches at touching up to do. But, stuff like a simple PvP game, or an obby, uh, if the obby's good. If it's not, people won't care, because there's so many obbies. Um, stuff like that, simple concepts that have good execution will make people, uh, you know, want to spend Robux on your game. Um, this is definitely the least consistent option. I'd say that simulators, they're the second least, and then making a passion project for a year is the most consistent. Um, 
but yeah, if you make an addictive game, like, we're gonna use Piggy as an example, because it's a breakout game, and it's decently a simple concept, but it's hard to master. So let's say Piggy. They sell some simple game passes, like two times Piggy Chance, and I, I don't know what the other one was. I think it's two times Pig Tokens, and you can always buy their Pig Tokens. Really no true advantages, just some cosmetic stuff. Um, but that is a very very uh good example of a game that's simple in concept but it's just really high quality so people like it i really like piggy it is a fun game um it's one of the only front page games that i think is actually deserving of its front page spot there are very few front page games that i think are deserving of their front page spot but uh piggy is one of them i think that they definitely worked hard and they do amazing job marketing they are definitely deserving of their front page spot so games like Piggy, yeah, that's how you, um, that's a good way to earn a lot of Robux. Um, and there's actually a fourth way to earn a lot of Robux. It's new, so I don't really know too much about it, but the new premium payouts, if a Roblox player has premium and they play your game, you just get a little bit of Robux for that. So, the best way to do that is to, to incentivize p premium players to play your game is just to offer some chill cosmetics only for uh, premium players. Because if you offer any pay-to-win advantages for only premium players, no one's going to play your game. Okay, that's a lie. Only premium players are going to play your game, and not a lot of them are going to play it. So, probably not a good idea to offer any real advantages. Um, just stuff like cosmetics, hats, sword skins, anything like that is definitely the best idea for premium, uh, benefits. Premium payouts are definitely the least scummy way to, um, to get Robux on the platform. So, uh, yeah, if you all enjoyed this video about Robux, literally, <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.